Yo guys, what is good? It's your boy John Wong here back again with another video and today well we can go ahead and check off another one from the sneaker wish list all right before i begin the video for today if you guys are new here i would very much appreciate it if you could smash the subscribe button as you guys can see i am on the road to 1k so i'm very close to a thousand subs i post every friday at 3 p.m and i love to make content on sneaker style clothing menswear and streetwear so if any of that interests you again please make sure to join the turntable community because i would love to have you here but going into today's video as you guys see by the box we do have an unboxing from New Balance. And if you guys have not checked out my recent video where I go over my sneaker wish list, make sure to go check that out up above. I go over all the different shoes that I want to cop for the upcoming year. This is one of them, and I'm happy that you know we can get this over with. That I finally have this in my collection. And yeah, let's go ahead and open the box. Now, this specific colorway was actually sold out online. I had to go to the New Balance store physically and I asked them if they had any in stock there and they told me that they actually have a lot in stock at their warehouse so I was able to make an order from there I saved on shipping and these are in the mail we got the box open and then let's get the New Balance box open now for those of you guys who don't know New Balance was never really my kind of brand but as of lately, I've been really enjoying New Balance's technology. I love how comfortable their sneakers can get, especially with running. Personally for me, I'm not much of a runner, but I do love wearing their sneakers for lifestyle. I just like having a really comfortable and lightweight pair of sneakers on, and New Balance is a good shoe for that. So this is going to be my third pair of New Balances, and let's check them out. In three, two, one. Obviously we have the wrapping. And in three, two, one. These look really different from the pictures. Okay, okay, I'm starting to see it a little more now. I was looking at the opposite side of the sneaker, but when I get this kind of view, it looks a little bit better. As you guys can see, we do have the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V4s in this pistachio linen colorway. Now, the reason why I said that this looked different from the pictures is because I thought that the outsole would be a lot more green, but I'm starting to see much more of that like green tint now. All right, so when it comes to the New Balance Rebel V4s, this is a very lightweight sneaker. As I'm holding it right now, it's actually really light, not heavy at all. And I guess this is optimal for people who love to run in them. And again, I'm not much of a runner myself, but in my profession, I'm on my feet all day. And I just love a sneaker that you can just wear that feels really soft or lightweight. And I feel like the New Balance Fuel Cell Rubber V4s are a great sneaker for that. I've also taken advice from Seth Fowler and other sneaker YouTubers in saying that the New Balance Rubble V4s are one of the most comfortable sneakers to own. And actually, while I have them right now, let's do an on feet of them. So let's cut over to that. Whoosh. All right, y'all, we're switching over to the iPhone and I have them on feet right now. And actually, these are so comfortable. One thing that I really like about the sneaker is that they're not entirely narrow in the toe box. So it's kind of wide, yet it gives off a sleek aesthetic. So if you're wide footed, this is definitely a shoe that you could pull off and it's not going to feel so snug. I would honestly say it fits a little large because my toe is right here and hmm, maybe not. Maybe you could go true to size with this, but there's a lot of room in the toe area. So that's always a good sign. Makes for a comfy ride, comfy walk or run, depending on what you're using them for. So yeah, it's nice that I have another pair of like really comfy runners in my collection. All right, let's go back to the camera. All right, now we are back in the camera. And overall, I would say this is a really nice fitting sneaker. I love the way it looks too, just because it's so clean. And I'll talk about all the features of it in just a second. But yep, I've been really into New Balance performance sneakers lately. You know, I got the New Balance Fresh Foam X, and these are super comfortable because the foam on them is just super soft and the stack on them is crazy. When I'm walking, I can literally feel my foot sinking into the foam, sinking into the ground and it's for a really soft and plush walk versus the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V4s. These are instead much more lightweight and yeah, they're soft as well, 
but I definitely feel like these are very light on my feet when I'm wearing them. Now, in the time that I got these, I was actually debating with myself if I wanted to get either of these sneakers. I ended up choosing the fresh foams, but now I'm happy that I finally get to have both. I feel like I get to try out both kinds of technologies and both sneakers are actually really comfortable. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of other comfortable sneakers out there when it comes to New Balances. People have told me that there are a lot of other models that are in fact more comfortable or more lightweight. And yeah, I believe that. However, these are two are just ones that I've seen a lot of sneaker YouTubers wearing so far. So that's where I got my inspiration. And it doesn't really matter to me like how comfortable these sneakers are, but for the fact that I get to try each one to see at least a glimpse of what these technology could feel like on your feet, it's enough for me. All right, so starting off with the upper of the sneaker, we do have a synthetic material on top and it is a semi-translucent upper. Meaning that if you're wearing socks, you can pretty much see the color of your socks in them. So if I'm wearing a black sock, it's gonna show in this upper. And it, obviously if you're gonna wear no socks, you could probably see your toes sticking out. But then going over into the patterning of the upper, we actually have two Vs, which kind of look like vectors, followed by a bunch of little white triangles throughout the perforation of the sneaker. And as we transition over to the lacing area of the sneaker, we do have Phantom Fit written on the side profile of the shoe. This is probably the kind of technology that the upper is using for the sneaker. I don't know too much about New Balance tech. However, Phantom Fit does sound like something that they would use for the upper. And then as we move over to the laces, we do have some flat white laces that are thinner and obviously meant for more athletic purposes as opposed to the classic traditional cotton ones. Now the tongue is also in this synthetic mesh and there are little triangle holes cut out in the tongue. Obviously, I think that's for perforation, but I think it's a very nice detail that you see right here. And the shape of this tongue is in this U shape. So when you're running them obviously your ankles aren't digging into the tongue area which can be painful at times so i feel like this is very intentional and then hidden on the corner of the tongue we actually have the new balance logo you can't really see it obviously because it's laced in there but if you pull it out it's kind of a nice detail that you see going over to the side profile of the sneaker we do have this big fat n logo which is kind of faded and obviously that is the branding of new balance same thing on the inner of the side profile of the shoe, except it's a little smaller. Transitioning over to the back of the sneaker, we do have this muted shade of brown, which I like to think of is in this kind of coconut colorway. I think that this gives the shoe a little pop of color, and given that the upper is all translucent, you don't really see much going on, but when you see the back, this coconut definitely stands out. And then on the outer side of the end of the sneaker, we do have the word Rebel written in, which is obviously the model of the sneaker, followed by the New Balance logo once again. And then as we go over to the midsole of the sneaker, now this is honestly my favorite part about the shoe. We do have this pistachio colorway throughout, and I love how it's so muted down. You know, if it was any brighter as a shade of green, it would be very loud and bold, something that I can't really pull off, but I love how this just goes with so many things that you can pair with it. I love how the coconut shade and the pistachio just go together and it's just really nice. I feel like these two are very complementary to one another. But as you guys take a closer look at the midsole, we actually have a little bit of coconut in it as well on this little edge right here. Towards the bottom of the midsole area, we do have the word fuel cell written into the midsole. And also this midsole is very plush. It's all just cushion, so I like that a lot. Very soft. And then a key detail about the sneaker is this geometric patterning in the midsole. I feel like it gives the sneaker a very sleek yet futuristic design to it. And that's what I like about it. It's not just like a basic looking sneaker, but it gives some character to it. You know, just adding some dimension, some edges, just makes it look a little more aesthetic to me. And then moving over to the outsole of the sneaker, we actually have some rubber plates, which are obviously meant to support all the cushioning in the shoe. And we have them in this pistachio colorway followed by the coconut once again. Again, I feel like this colorway is just very subtle, but I also love how the colors used in this sneaker go very well together and they are very complimentary. And then going into the insole of the sneaker, we actually have a neon green insole followed by a lot of different holes that are poked into the shoe. If you have trachophobia, this is definitely a shoe that was gonna freak you out. Towards the back of the insole, we do have 
Fuel Cell followed by the New Balance logo written in once again. But yeah, overall, this just seems like a very interesting shoe that I'm excited to wear and test out. I wanna know what it's like standing in my feet all day, especially at work. I wanna see if I feel any fatigue. You know, there are sneakers out there that are very plush and comfortable. However, sometimes when you're wearing them for a long time, it just feels like your feet start to lose a lot of support. Honestly, sometimes it can feel like that when I'm wearing my fresh foam, so it does have a downside to it. But I wanna see how this sneaker holds up next. It is truly a nice looking sneaker, and I feel like this is the best colorway out of all of them. I was looking at all the different colorways, and especially when it comes to New Balances, they don't always have the most wearable colorways. A lot of their shoes are very neon colored, or very bright, or very bold. Something that it's hard for me to pull off. So I'm glad that they came out with this version because again, it is very clean, very easy, and very simple. So here we have it, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V4s in this pistachio colorway. You know, I'll probably go outside, put this on, and get some B-roll out of it. But if you stuck around this long for the video, I want you to comment coconut. You know, I've been talking about coconut basically this entire video. So if you comment coconut, that shows me that you watched till the end of the video. But now I'd like to hear from you guys. I want to know what are other really comfortable runners that I should get next. I'm always interested in seeing what beats the other sneakers. What is like the number one shoe that champions all of the shoes. So let me know in the comments down below because I want to do a video on the comparing all these really comfy runners and seeing which one is my favorite. And if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys wanna hear more from me, smash the subscribe button, guys. I don't know why I did that. Smash the subscribe button, guys, because I am trying to get to 1K. Again, we are on the road to 1K, and I cannot do it without your support. Again, these are the New Balance Rebel Fuel Cell V4s, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.